Hello and welcome back to our Phoenix Red Ace Attorney Duel Destiny's one last episode. We went to trial for the first day in the Turnabout Academy case, and today we will be continuing our investigations. October 25th, Right Anything Agency. Sorry boss, I, I couldn't do it. You know that little bit of advice you gave me? The worst of times when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles? I don't know exactly what you meant, but there's no way I could s force a smile on that courtroom today. I'm just glad you remembered that. But now, how about a relaxing a little? But relax? Not gonna happen! Junie, she asked me to defend her because she believes in me. But I... I feel completely helpless. If it weren't for their confessions, I'd... But if this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial... Would you not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain? Well, I'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen then, won't I? No, I can't lose it all. Not now. You okay, Athena? You're turning kinda pale. I can't just stand around here. I'm going to finish the investigation. Can't wait. I just took a batch of freshly baked cookies out of my magic panties. Thanks, but I better get going. Save me one for when I get back. Apollo, Apollo, you wait here. Ha! Get f***ed, Apollo. Again. I need some duty to the center right away. No, wait, I'm going with you. No, you're not. Uh-uh, standing right here. Sorry, I'm sorry, back. Nope, mm -mm, nope, you're standing right the f*** here, Apollo. No problem, you two. Ugh, come on, Phoenix. You couldn't bail me out of this one. Ah, uh, fine. I guess Apollo's tagging along like the annoying little pest he is. What happened in court today? Where we go from here? Oh, great. Well now, fancy meeting you here. Oh, Professor Means, what brings you here? I asked him to come. Here are just a little before you. I wanted to ask him something, but first, Athena, I wanted to apologize for my sudden confession after you worked so hard to defend me. She was, she was calling me Athena until just now. No, I should be the one apologizing. The whole thing spiraled out of my control. Athena, I... Don't worry, I'll really bring it tomorrow. I'll find something to prove your innocence. Uh, about that, Athena, I think you're asking for some means to defend me. What, what, uh, that, that's, that's not happening. Because I guarantee you he's the culprit. And he's going to give you a shoddy defense on purpose. Huh? I myself only heard this just a moment ago. Oh, so she thinks the person means would be... No, I can't let this happen. Not with the way he wants to do things. Junie! I know, Athena, but will you please hear me out? I, I don't need to. I, he's almost definitely going to be the, end up being the culprit. Athena, do you actually think you were wrong? No, it's probably the guy sitting in this room! The body was moved right before the mock trial. Besides, Junie, they're the only ones who could have moved freely around the campus at that time. But that's, that's good. We're going to find something else today that proves that there's, there was another way. I'm sorry, Junior, but at this point, I can't rule them out. I was afraid you'd say that. Juniper is seek, seeking a lawyer who can clear all three of their names. Only I am... Oh, shut up. But how can you possibly do their own instead at once? I'm a result-oriented person. Come tomorrow, I won't fail to have the perfect piece of evidence ready. But the end really does justify the means. Especially for me, Professor Aristotle Means. Oh, I really don't like the sound of that. I'm sorry, but just you believe I'm innocent, I believe my friends are innocent too. And they are! Alright, if that's how you really feel, we'll respect your decision. A Apollo! But we want to continue our investigation. Can you, could we ask you some questions? Sure, I don't mind. Professor Means, would you like to stay and join our conversation? Yes, of course. I am your lawyer, after all. This is that smile again. Why does it always creep me out? I mean, I know why she confessed, because she wanted to protect her friends. About your confession, Judy, it's not true, is it? You just said you did what because... Yes, I wasn't thinking straight. All I knew was I had to help my friend. You mean because of that school rule? The one that says you can't graduate if you are convicted of a crime? No, I didn't do it because of some rule. I did it because she's my friend. Why is there a discord in her voice again? Could it really be that friendship between the three of them is on the rocks? There's more here than meets the eye. Gee, you don't say. When did you first three become friends? Well, even though we were in different courses, we really bonded from the first day of school. We found to work together to bring an end to the dark age of the law. That was when our proof of friendship came about. There's that proof of the friendship thing again. I just wish there were as simple as that. <laughs> we even have proof of our friendship. Yeah, as long as that friendship lasts! You better be carrying them around! But the situation kind of changed recently. When the school's policy shifted to training legal professionals to prove results. Allow me to explain. In the lawyer course I teach, producing results means winning trials. 
Professor Court, on the other hand, thought that finding the truth was the only valid result. Unfortunately, that clash of ideas created a rift among our students. At some point, we stopped talking about it. Well, that meant fewer arguments. It also meant we couldn't be as frank and open with as we used to be. I think I understand now. By putting their friendship on a pedestal, the day they actually did more harm than good. It seems the relationship between the three of them isn't as simple as I thought. I mean, I never thought it was simple. Juniper, thank you for talking to us about this difficult subject. Yeah, thanks, Juni. Now, if you could tell us about the day of the murder. Juni, you told us yesterday that you went home a little after 6 p.m. Was that a lie? I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but what actually happened was I left the art room a little after 6 p.m. and I headed over to my dressing room where I worked in my stage costume until 7. That's it? You didn't go anywhere else? No, nowhere else. If that, if that really were it, then there would be no reason to lie in the first place. She's gotta be hiding something else. Junie, do you remember this picture? Yes, there's something's wrong here. Wrong? What's wrong? I took this picture around 6, which is before I left the art room. But the clock is just after 7. By 7, I'd already been working in my dressing room for some time, so there's definitely something wrong with the time in the picture. Hmm, I guess we better go check the art room. Okay, just one last question about the day of the murder. On the evening before the mock trial, the evening of the murder, you ran into Hugh. Yes, I did. At around 7.15, I went to the main building before going home. That's when I saw Juniper. We didn't say much as we passed by each other. She knew her usual self. That's it. Anything else you'd like to ask? She suddenly went silent. She always was terrible at hiding things. Was she trying to keep the remaining at a secret by lying about going home at 6? Alright, I won't press the matter any further. Is there anything else you noticed on the night of the murder? Well, I don't know if this will help, but that evening I went back to my dressing room to get something I'd forgotten there. It was well after the last bell rang. I'd say maybe around 8.30. Around 8.30, huh? It's over an hour after when the crime supposedly took place. That's when I noticed that both stage sections were finished. They were quite large, but they were each covered with a white sheet, I could tell. It made me happy to think after all that hard work they were finally finished. Oh right, the statue of the Robin mate, so they were covered in white sheets? j j, -j are you okay? Sorry, I'm a little tired, that's all. Athena, I think this meeting is over. Professor Means? I will use any means possible to get the result I want in Juniper's case, but it will require considerable preparation, so I must be off. Hold it! Juni, and Professor Means, I have a proposal! A proposal? Wait, this is another one of your crazy- By sundown today! Yes? I, Athena Sykes, along with Apollo Justice! Wait a second. We're going to see all the truth behind this murder mystery! What? And we're gonna bring you solid evidence showing just what that truth is! I see. So it has come to this, has it? If we succeed in doing that, I want you to promise that you'll accept it, Junie, no matter how hard it is to hear. Then you shouldn't need anyone else to defend you except me. Have we got a deal? I should still okay with you too, Professor Means? I have no objections as long as Juniper is satisfied with this arrangement. Okay, but only if it's the real truth. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to pursue this, Dina, but thank you. I've been thanking only myself this whole time. Junie, it's too late to thank me, but you can thank me all you want once I get to the bottom of this. Very well, I will see you back here at sundown. Sorry for all the trouble, Professor, it's just she's new to the agency, so... Don't be silly, I find it all rather thrilling. Now, let us meet here again later. Oh, we will. And when we come back, I guarantee you we're going to find out that you were the murderer. If you'll excuse me, I better go. Okay, see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there's no time to thinking about that. I got an investigation to do. I will find the truth by sundown, no matter what. Alright, well, nope, don't talk to Apollo. I don't want to, no one wants to talk to Apollo. Where can we go? We should probably go to the outdoor stage, since, you know, that's the scene of the, well, that's where the body was found. And look, it's the, it's the box person again. Great. Is my imagination, did something just move? Oh, not you again. <laughs> Afternoon, you two. Prosecutor Gavin, what are you doing here? Don't you think sneaking around on the campus like this is just slightly suspicious? <laughs> you know, I'm just continuing my investigation in the strictest of confidence. I don't want to be caught napping again in tomorrow's trial, and that means a thorough investigation today. Think you can lend us a hand? I'm not one who refuses the damsel in distress, but you needn't have ass for a line. I intended to help from the start. You're the best, Prosecutor Gavin. Okay, time for a thorough investigation. I bet we missed lots of stuff yesterday. So, what did we miss? 
Prosecutor Gavin, you were scheduled to perform at the school festival, weren't you? That's right, they hadn't seen the stage show yesterday. They backed you with the stars guy and Big Crescent Moon isn't half bad. We also had some tricks in our sleeve to make the concert really rock. Pyrotechnics, the fog machine, big banners, things like that. It wouldn't look like this. Oh, the plans from yesterday. What's the design on the banner there in the back? I know the scales are the school emblem, but what's with the number six? Looks like it's a serious paint or something. Uh, Athena, Ixne on the Ixe. <laughs> That's a Gavinus logo for line. Oh, a nice pink line in your forehead. Real smooth. Oh, I... I meant it looked like the number six rocking seriously hard. Nay, for nine. It's a G for Gavinus, not a six. Whatever floats your pretty boat. So where's the banner? I don't see it anywhere on stage. It was an important part of the show, but the school managed to misplace it somehow. It's a pity, we ain't especially made from heavyweight high grade cloth. A missing man and two broken statues. There are mysteries apparently to be solved, ja? Come to think of it, one of the broken statues was the prosecutor Gavin. As you can see here in the stage plans. Right here we have a statue of me. And right here, a right statue. But little does that matter now, as we both for that piece of things to hear in forehead. What I ever do to you? Uh, we don't have all time to get. We don't. We don't have all day to get into what you did to him. Actually, this statue broke into rather large pieces. Why don't we try to put it back together? Maybe we'll learn something new. <laughs> they get the pieces of a shattered rock star. Actor, that's an one uber good idea. There may even be a song there somewhere. Yay! Let's do this. Schnell. Is this an investigation, or am I interrupting a German language club social event? Okay. So you want to put the pieces of the statue back together? Well, this is a piece of the statue. That one, a piece of Prosecutor Gavin's shattered pride. I you think my pride is as fragile as a plaster in Paris? It looks like there are other large pieces scattered about. Okay, let's, let's find what we can. Roll fragment add to the court record. Okay. Is this another piece of it right here? Find another piece of the statue. But there should still be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. White fragment added to the court record. Okay, so we just gotta find all the all the rock pieces. Right, let's just check it, check everywhere then. I can't, well, I can't get to the I can't get to the judges' events. I just keep switching to either, either side of the other. So maybe I can just look at here. Ah, there we go. Okay, now no, now we're getting somewhere. So I, I wanted to check behind the judges' events, but it wouldn't let me change perspective behind it. Find another piece of the statue. But there should be still some. Okay, this is a lot of things left apparently. Okay, well, the only other place we haven't checked yet would be over here, to the left. So let's back out, go over to this side. And nope, no rocks. We can see the statue from here though. That we can see. And there's another piece right here. Found another piece of the statue, but it should still be some. Oh my god, enough of the... it's just still some more apparently. Does this count too? Nope, that's that that's a triangle. Not a triangle. It's a, it's the school paper. Okay, that's I I guess I can't actually Oh wait, this this, this thing right here. It's like another piece of the statue. Thanks to Paul, it makes five pieces in all. I think we have the wall we're going to find. Okay, let's get back to where Prosecutor Gavin was shattered. I think he might I think he might be worried there. Okay. Now we got a bunch of fragments. Are we gonna have to do a rise from the ashes and reassemble them? Well, I don't see any of the big pieces lying around. Yeah, let's see if we can put the statue back together. All right. All right, Apollo, you come over here and prosecute Gavin. If you can hold this. No, oh, I really wanted to do it myself. Rise from the Ashes style, but... Ah, oh, well. We did it! Now, bad if I do say still myself. Yeah, but don't you think it's strange? We put the statue back together, but look. What's with all these, what's with all these lots of white pieces? Hmm. It's, it's sort of like they go together. And these pieces, too. Um, Athena, what do you think you're doing? Don't stop me now. The artist inside me wants to get out and have a good time. So, what is it? Uh, it's the goddess of love holding a pair of scales to one and a sword in the other. It's, it's quite the beautiful out there, Fräulein. Phew, I love the feeling you get after you work really hard on something. No, 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 I know who it was. I meant to ask what it's doing here. Not sure, there's no statue like this in the stage plans. Still, I could have sw I could swear I've seen the statue somewhere before. Okay. So this and the statue of Clover working at the same time would have been repaired, no one knows where it came from. The moment we learn the deeper the rabbit hole goes. At least it's moving in the right direction. Let's keep searching the stage for clues. I've been wondering 
I've been wondering about something this whole time. You know the pole at the end of the stage? You mean this? That's interesting. Goes up to a room with an open window. The player was behaving the bitters of the stage. When the policeman was here, it was sure how it worked. Oh, so that's why the banner looks like it's out of place. The banner's are hung in the roof in the arm over there. That's the arm over there? As in the scene of the crime? Bingo, Fred, I need to cry with cops, though. Hey, anyone in the art room? Oh, of course it's you. Oh, it's you, people. Haha, <laughs> injustice we trust. Ah, to take the full right. Injustice we trust. Is that some kind of greedy between you two? Take the full right. Can you lower that banner from there? Of course, just leave it to me! How's that? <sighs> Woo! Thanks, Detective, and just as we trust! Ah, always glad to help, and just as we trust! So, is that some kind of greedy between you two or not? Well, looks like the banner's down now. Let's go take a look. Yeah, it's down, but it's also all bundled up. The statue doesn't look any- that's not- I know I, I wanted to look at the, the freaking banner, not the statue. Look at this banner, I don't think it would flap very well in the wind. An unflappable banner? Hey, I like that. It goes perfectly with the unflappable lawyers and unflappable rockers. It's like it was made for this very stage. Look at this, the bottom part is all knotted up, let me try and unravel it. Jeez, you really have to? You don't come across an unflappable banner every day. Athena, there are some things that have yields of force that heal the force beside themselves. What a cruel world we live in. Hey, a scrap of paper was caught up inside. It's blowing away. I got it. Yes, great catch, huh? What's this kind of note? What does it say? Oct October Q120. What's that supposed to mean? A, a test score, maybe? Pretty impressive when you consider that 100 is a perfect score. I don't see how even Hugh could get beyond perfect. Well, it came out of the notebook. For lunch, you mean it's with the baby again that it's been unraveled? Okay, sure thing. We know that that came from the the book because it has the 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 logo in the back. All right, what we ha what uh what's what else is new with us? This? this is an envelope on Junie's school uniform. Hey, you're right. Wait a sec. It's hard to see against the ribbon material, but look. The banner was this banner was on a wire connected to the art room. Right, and the art room was where the murder occurred. Are you think of what I'm thinking? The stain might be from the victim's blood. Okay, trace man blood was found on it. Oh. So it was actually blood found on it. Phew, that was a whole lot of poking around in such a short time. Does that mean you're satisfied? Actually, there was one more thing I wanted to check out. See that metal fence back there? It's, it's just that one segment that seems out of place. It looks like they've been impressive removing them after the stage was set up. But they were never able to f but they didn't finish on account of the murder. Hmm, this track looks man made. Hey, you're right, looks like it starts in behind the backdrop. Maybe, maybe a big money pro wrestler was hiding back there. Well, that was totally random, but we'll never know until we take a look. Looks like something was being dragged through here, and this is where it started. Yeah, but whatever it was, it's long gone. This is pretty heavy, but was used to sitting at a school festival. Aw, oh, I guess it wasn't a pro wrestler. So this could be something important. Well, it's about it for the stage. Right, I think we're gonna switch to the art room next. You can hang right here for a while. Oh, thank God, I don't need you coming with us. Find what? It's, it's already a pain enough to have one Apollo's character on my side. I don't need two. But yes, do you have any spam that just from the stage? You never know, just maybe connected to the case at hand. Really? Or do this one's banner back? S don't tell me he's so inch with us. Hmm? Hey. That box, it just took off running. I have a pretty good idea who that is, as I expect you do to too. Come on, we can't afford to, come on, we can't afford to have any weird articles written about us. The maintenance area is over in that direction. After that box. We're chasing a box now. Alright then. Miriam, you're liable to get tossed in the garbage truck if you hang around here. I'm just an empty box. That's what you do with them, you throw them away. Hey, did you change boxes? I like the new look. What is what does it matter anymore? I was a complete failure in court today. My work, my pride, my dreams, everything I worked so hard for, gone. Sorry, Miss Skellabot, but does, does, doesn't believing you had a scoop when you really didn't make you a failure as a reporter? A failure as a reporter?
I have to think of it. Calling her a failure as a reporter might have been a bit extreme. Hmm. Scold me, you despise me, pay me away when I'll never see the light of day again. I've been cast as a side, waste away in a big pile of mush, you pay me mache. I kind of feel responsible for this, but now it's just a product of information while she's vulnerable. I bet that's what you were thinking. What kind of a person do you think I am? You read me like a book. Okay. That was you on the stage earlier, wasn't it? Why'd you run off like that? Let me guess, that's the banner that... Because that, that looks like part of a six. Guarantee that's the banner that Clavier is looking for. Also, I just noticed the cat sitting on top of the building over there. Why are you showing me a burnt-up old rag? It's probably not a rag. Wait, it's really hard to see, but I guess... Yep. So since the banner disappeared, it's all burnt up. Don't look at me, I just happened to find an incinerator. Incinerator, did Blackwell actually make good on this threat to burn her box? We should probably try to find out whether someone tried to destroy this on purpose. Yeah, this banner is selling less and less unrelated to our case, Apollo. Burnt fragments added to the court record. Um, Miriam, I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have said you were a failure as a reporter. It's too late. I already decided journalism isn't for me. The last step is to erase all the photos of my PC. I'm not gonna do it. Here goes. You have a PC inside that box, too? Shouldn't we stop her, Athena? Miriam, you should keep you should keep publishing your paper. I didn't mean what I said, okay? You didn't mean it. Oh, no, my photos stopped getting the board. Did you stop it in time? Delete progress 99% complete. No, it's too picture. Well, that's convenient. What are you gonna do now, Athena? You always were to make this right. I, 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 that, that's not quite how that. I mean, you can't. There's, no, there's nothing I can do. Don't worry, Miriam. Your photos may be gone, but the memory of your, young, your photographic genius will live on forever in all of our hearts. Also, unless you permanently deleted them, they should be in the recycle bin. Pictures typically aren't big enough to be instantly deleted. They should just go in the recycle bin. So you could probably recover them. Ooh, Athena, that was cringeworthy. Hey, 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 Miriam, check this out. You took some amazing photos of the three of them. I'm sure they really appreciated it. Appreci appreciated it. Obviously, I'm an ace member of the newspaper club. The only member, in fact. I know this will make up for the photos you lost, but here are your newspapers back. There's no rest for the wicked. I plan on pursuing those three for as long as I live. Miriam, why are you so obsessed with Juman and Hugh and Robin? Obsessed? I'm not obsessed with them. It's just they work so close ever since they're freshmen here so well. Athena, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What, she wanted to be a part of the group? Objection. And the box is sweating. That's exactly what I'm thinking, Miriam. You want in on their little trio. That's one of the used laptop. <laughs> my laptop won't turn on. Never thought my life would end up so soon. I mean, 17 years later. No, I really feel bad. Oh, I know! Miriam, we have a laptop at the office. We'd be happy to lend it to you. You have a laptop I could use? Sure, but on one condition. I want you to ask Junie, Hugh, and Robin if you can hang out with them. Swat? Like, I could ever do that. Sorry, but that's the deal if you want to borrow our laptop. You scary sometimes, Athena. I like good cop, bad cop, all rolled into one. Yeah, cause she's awesome, and you're not. Yay! I've, I'll be, I'll be by later to bring you the laptop. Wait, don't think I owe you anything. Here. Oh, what have we here? Thanks. Oh, it's a set of pictures. It's like, it's like setting up the stage. Yeah. Yes, I took them while they were putting the pictures back up into place. Wow, you sure have an eye for photography. From what I can make out, anyway. This is that two photos that didn't get deleted. They're all yours. And I, of course, it's convenient that these are the last two photos that are going to be pivotal to the case. Well, see you around, scary lawyer lady. That was really impressive, Athena. What's next? Well, I'd like to talk to Hugh or Robin if possible. Okay, let's walk around and see if we can find him. Well, does that just mean we have to go everywhere? Okay, we'll start with the hall. We'll start in the hallway and work our way through all the different rooms. October 25th, seems legal to have me first in the hallway. Hey, that's you over there! Here, we wanted to have a word with you if you don't mind. It was, it was Mr. Wright then, sure, but you two? <laughs> I knew it. There's a hint of discord in Hugh's voice. You're not getting off that easy. After all, you're a possible suspect, plus you actually confessed in court. Which, by the way, it's very, very lucky that Blackwell didn't immediately pounce on that opportunity. Because Juniper literally confessed. 
and they, like, Black Will's like, ugh, just a bunch of mice, or whatever, what did he say? He said something like that, right? He said, he said something like, they're meek little mice trying to protect each other. Incredibly lucky that he didn't just immediately be like, oh, that, that's a confession right there, done, case closed, your honor, get the hand down the verdict. It's very lucky, I don't know why he did that, but it's ve we're very lucky that we're still even investigating at all. Make it brief, I don't have a lot of time, and I assume you don't either. About your confession today, you weren't serious about that, were you? I should say I had no choice thanks to a certain lawyer who failed to get the job done. No. So, you're really prepared to take the blame for this? Not gonna happen. The voice on the tape is female, so that rules me out. Let's put it this way, you don't actually believe this ridiculous play on words, do you? Well, my confession is just like that, a means to an end. Or as we say around here, the end justifies the means. Ah, but I actually do believe the voice is shouting here, O'Connor. Jimmy's confession was quite advantageous for the real killer, but if Robin and I were actually the killer, we wouldn't have confessed. It's that simple. Even if you should be capable of such reasoning, or have I overestimated you? You make a great lawyer someday. I mean, you seem to enjoy getting under people's skin. Hmm. Could Hugh and Robin's confession really prove their innocence instead of their guilt? This is going to take some serious thinking on my part. It sure looks like Prosecutor Blackwell was twisting your own to testify earlier today. Is there some sort of secret he's using against you? Oh yeah, he said the, the I'll talk about that thing, right? Yeah, those will discuss you know what. Close enough. You really are a rank amateur. Even if that were true, you think I'd open up like that? So he's not denying it. The secret might be causing the discord in his voice. Then again, we have the same problem with Junie and Robin. Heh, <laughs> you're just wasting your time and mine. Next question. About that meeting with Professor Court on the 23rd. Why did she want to see you? I have no intention of telling you. You'll have to force it out of me any way you can. Ah, uh, Professor Means strikes again. And again, Hugh is in the lawyer course. But didn't Professor Court used to say that the only good result is the truth? So why don't you drop this whole charade and just tell me the truth? The truth? How can you be so sure it will help you solve this case? The truth isn't necessarily your friend, nor Juniper's for that matter. No, you're wrong! I don't care what anyone says, I'm gonna defend Junie the right way, using the truth. That's the only way to honor Junie's wishes in Professor Court's memory. I see. Very well, Miss Sykes. I'll testify tomorrow, and that truth you're so interested in. Hugh. But, heh. <laughs> Don't look to me if something happens to Juniper because of it. Understand? Well, what's that supposed to mean? What a terrible thing to say, huh? I thought you guys were friends. Yes, we were. Until just recently, actually. Were? I haven't told Juniper, so I may as well tell you. I don't really care about her anymore. That's a bold-faced lie. Since I have my secrets, she has a side you've never seen. She was not all sunshine and rainbows like you think she is. What are you saying? This conversation is over. I said I don't have a lot of time, and I meant it. I don't believe you for a second. He wait. He's gone. He doesn't care about her anymore? Why would he say that? I didn't go so well. I guess we'll just have to pin our hopes in his testimony tomorrow. Athena, what do you say we head over to the art room? Might be a nice change of pace. Hopefully the police have completed their investigation. Alright, we don't really have much time left anyway. October 25th, the Thieves Legal Academy, third floor art room. Ah, why have this my little lawyer friends again? Thanks again for lowering that school banner for us earlier. Don't mention it, helping those is need of, in need is what my brain of justice is all about. Right, so this art room was at where the murder actually occurred? That's right, you can see it with the naked eye, but it's pulled on the floor. The area roped off in the middle of the room marks the spot. The police investigation is done, so if you want to look around, knock yourselves out. Okay, I'd rather just talk to you, but, you know. Ah, good question. Unfortunately, the answer is nothing much yet. You sure was confident for having found nothing. But if we're talking about outside of the out room, there has been a major breakthrough. Oh dear, I still found out what that is, I don't know what else should do. No of the theatrics, I wish I, could I was told I could fill you in on this one. Wow, you saw right through me, detective. I'm impressed. Like, they get arrested for murder via unwarranted flattery, are we? So, what's the major breakthrough you mentioned? You wanna know? You really wanna know? You really, really? Come on, just tell us already! Ah, you're no fun. Anywho, we got the results of the voice print analysis back. Voice print? You mean this tape recorder? Exactly, the voice belongs to the suspect Miss Woods, but they don't shut up about out! See right here? They analyzed the voice on the tape inside and out. I knew you thought the voice on the tape was saying, you O'Connor, ah! Thanks for the good laugh, Miss Sykes. Ah, he's the last person I want laughing at me. So now there's evidence of Juniper shouting, you're a goner around the time of death. 
If we were to take that as his truth, how are we supposed to make sense of it? I don't know. I can't think of any reason why Junior would shout that in the first place. Okay. So you want us to look around. What do you want us to look at? What What is it to look at? There's a giant stain over here. That's... What's that? Also, also why is it? Why is there a, a paper that says guilty on it hanging from the ceiling? Hey, it's, it's gone. Remember that strange statue in the school camera photo? You're right. I wonder where it is. Robin's a member of the finance club. Maybe she can shed some light on this. Okay, so we gotta talk to, to Robin at some point. And what's this doing on the floor? Hey, this, this area with the rope around it. That's where we just have to allow our blood stain. In short, the victim was stabbed here or somewhere close by. The fact that there's no visible blood means it was wiped up with something, right? Right, but they were able to take traces of amounts of blood. Maybe wiping it up does not remove all the evidence of wrongdoing, and then, in a nutshell, it's justice, right? I'd appreciate it if you'd let me have the cool hinds. Okay. Why is this a random book here lying on the floor? A mock trail script on the floor, nearby an envelope marked use. One of Miriam's script was ever really inside that envelope. Let's see here, by Miriam Scuttlebot, and the title is Rouge et Noir Crimson Blood and Dark Judgment. I wouldn't take part in that mock trial if she begged me. Since there are special rules allowing the payment of rise recorders adjourned. Oh, and you can bring it up and uh, bring it in up to three dollars worth of fabricated evidence. It also says, Welcome to the darkest mock trial ever where the end justifies the means. The prosecution claims this is the script that was supposed to have been used. But the scripts were selected by Professor Court, considering how much she valued the truth. As soon as you thought she'd pick up a script called entitled Crimson Blood and Dark Judgment. Wow, you have that memorized already? I mean, I, I would presumably have still been holding it in front of me, so it's not exactly. I, whatever, okay. There seems to be blood on this stuff over here. Look, a piece of pottery. Looks like it's already been fired. I bet Robin made it. And I bet it won't last long, not with the way she deals with her own work anyway. Yeah, it seems like she's such a waste. This one already has some color on it. Well, she looks like blood stains the way the glaze was dribbled on it. Just like b -b -b blood stains. It doesn't make trust. That does look like blood stains. We better examine it at once. I get it. The victim was stabbed in the middle of the room where the big blood stain is. And then brought over here, at which point some of her blood dripped onto these pieces. That means the body very well could have been dropped from this window. In the Montreal script, the body was dropped onto a mat. Then a ball car was used to move it over to the stage. The maintenance area is below this room, making a storehouse there has a mat and ball cart. Yeah, I saw those on um, Tuesday. So, so even the moving of the body was carried out just like in the script. The killer sure had to, killer sure had to think for Junie's script. Well, what did you expect? That's why we suspected the defendant in the first place. Except that's dumb, because why would you ever do that if it's just going to immediately pin all blame on you? Well, you're wrong. I'm going to prove it in court. And what else is there to look at? There's this thing. Some wire and a winch. This, this is how they reel the banners in and out. There's a nice view of the stage from here. Prosecutor Gavin's still standing in front of that broken statue. So it really wasn't you, Apollo? Don't worry, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I'll never clear my name unless we catch the real culprit. Okay, that didn't tell us anything interesting. Oh, right, we're supposed to look at the stupid clock. I forgot about that. This is the clock that created that major problem for Junior. Let's take a closer look. It's always your time, I've checked it, and it's 100% accurate. You sure? How'd you check it? Of course I'm sure, I created my own watch, see? Um, take it for a bite. Didn't you notice that your watch had stopped? It has? Ah, this is unacceptable. We obviously can't rely on it, let's take a look for ourselves. Let's see, wait a second. It's ahead by whole, one whole hour, well effective. Ah, ah, ah. This clock must have also been an hour ahead when the photo was taken. If so, that would fit perfectly with Junior's testimony. Prosecutor Blackwell won't like this. I almost feel sorry for the detective. Almost. You can at least pretend to feel sorry by wiping that big grin off your face. Wait, wait, just one minute. The clock is an hour ahead right now. Sure. What proof do you have? Okay, Mr. Frank saw it from the first turnabout. Hmm, that's a good question. Wait, I think I just might have something. Detective Fulbright, you would agree that there was a moon outside this window, right? Sure, it looks like a nice drawing of a crescent moon. But if you look at the window in the back, there's a winch attached to it. You see that the only window you would have, the, the only view to be had is the opposite side of the school building. Oh, then what's this moon doing here? Hmm, I wonder. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Gavin, you were scheduled to perform at the school festival, weren't you? It's I mean, it's heading to the station yesterday. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, the picture. The picture, right? Where is it? You gave me pictures. Yup, yup, it's, it's, it's holding the thing up directly in front of the thing. Yup. And it, the photo was taken at, at 6.01 p.m. Okay, there you go. There we go. There's our proof right there. Isn't this the same thing as the one painted on the stage backdrop? Bruce right there attacked the shows at 6 p.m. when the photo was taken. Take that. I, 
I know what this movie really is, and if you look at this photo, you'll know too. It shows the photo. Wow. Why does it show that? It, it, what do you think? It's the only thing that's in front of the window. If I can move the. There we go. They were still preparing the stage, so its backdrop wasn't in place yet. The photo shows them in the process of moving the backdrop into position. I can see that that's the big board hanging here. The size matches too. But there's no picture. That's no picture. That's a crucial detail. It is, but I believe what we're seeing in this photo is the back of the board. The, the back of the. That's right, it went around 6 p.m. when this was taken. A photo of the same board was being taken from the front. What do you mean the front? The front is against the wall. That's where you're wrong. What about the window? Remember how we said the moon shouldn't even exist in this photo? Take a good look. I said the moon is the one in the backdrop? Exactly, in, this, in short, this photo was taken while the backdrop was being moved. And as you can see here, it was around 6 o'clock when the backdrop was being set in place. So the art room clock was running fast, at least as far back as the day of the murder. Ha, huh? how could I ever face Prosecutor Blackwell now? Yes, and this blew a hole in a piece of the prosecution's evidence. Well, I think we can examine pretty much everything we can. By the way, did Prosecutor Blackwell happen to tell you anything about tomorrow's trial? And just as we trust, it's no use trying to pry more information out of me. Having to slur the clock has been one hour fast. Means we're back to square one concerning the suspicious actions that day. Hmm, I wonder what the main argument will be now. How the body was moved will be my guess, but Prosecutor Blackwell's got his own plans. Oh, does he now? Uh, take it full, right? Try as you might, but I won't say another word about the investigation. No, I wasn't gonna ask about that. I just was wondering if you'd seen Robin. Oh, you mean Miss Robin Newman? She was here just a moment ago. And she mumbled something about wanting to watch you in the lecture hall. Well, guess where we're going. Thanks, Detective and Athena. I think we should stop by the lecture hall. Oh, really? Put that together all by yourself now, did you? Okay, let's head to the lecture hall. There she is, Robin. Hey, Robin. Oh, Athena, Apollo. What are you watching there? Heh. Oh, it happens to be a video of the lock trial. I had to use a bit of coercion to get it, but that justifies the means, right? There it is again. For some means, sure has a lot of influence around here. Can I look into the true connection between the murder and the mock trial with me? Sounds great, but do you mind if we ask you some questions first? <laughs> sure, I'll tell you anything you want. About your confession today, why'd you do it? Because you know not done anything wrong. I had to stop the trial by any means possible. Right, the end justifies the means. So you're a fo you're following the first means too? This means a wonderful teacher. As was pressed court, I like them both. She brushed that off like, well, not that, but baby, baby, baby. But with that said, just you run no risk of breaking the law. Well, I'm prepared to quit school because of this case. W w what? Why? I want to be an artist. That's what I really want, man. But now the parents want me to study to become a prosecutor. If the trial went south, he'd have to drop out and give up on being a prosecutor. That's what you're really after, isn't it? <laughs> Talk about someone who literally changes like the bat of an eyelash. I guess she's been dealing with her own problems too. That totally makes sense. Yeah, I suppose so, but that doesn't make what she did right. Could you tell us about what you were doing on the night of the murder? Finishing a statue. I was on the stage to the last bell. That's right. You made the statues of Mr. Wright and Prosecutor Gavin, didn't you? Oh, uh, yes, I did both of them. This is just a formality, but can you prove you were making the statues at that time? Can I prove you think I'm the killer now? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Yeah, great job, Apollo. You, you messed it up again. For God's sake, it wasn't them. It was the creepy guy with the fake smile. Did one of them really... No. F false. Have there been any problems now that everyone here knows you're a girl? <laughs> no worries there. I discussed the matter with Prescott Court some time ago. I told her I really... I, I wanted to let everyone know I was really a girl. And to this day, I found out that she had spoken to the school administration on my behalf. Wow, they must really like you. I know, right? But now I can finally be myself here at school. I don't have to hide the fact I love girly clothes. That's why, Athena. I simply must have this in this by any means possible. What? But this is evidence we need for the trial. Sorry, but no can do. I'll be a party pooper, Athena. Come on, please, pretty please. Sage costume related evidence taken in classic and justifies the mean style. Oh, darn it. I, I thank you again, Athena. Thank you for really being who I really am. I wanted, ev I wanted everyone to know before the snitch cam found out. The snitch? Sounds like a new lead. Gee, I wonder who the snitch could possibly be. So we're going around at one of the students who's a snitch. I, I wonder who it is. I have been watching everything we do. I, 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 I wonder who it is. And we're pointing to all the professors. But why would anyone do that? Unfortunately, I heard to see, I heard to see, get the misconduct among the student body. But rumor has it, grades are being brought and sold through the surveillance network. That's bribery. The situation at Thieves Legal Academy is worse than I thought. While all this is important stuff, I still want to ask about that thing in the art room. I'll have to present some evidence to show what I'm talking about, though. Well, the only thing that we could show would be the the, the photo, so... Where's that? It would be this. Robin, I just remembered something I wanted to ask you. This photo shows a piece of art on the table. Do you know what it is? What? 
Wow! Look at that unique artistic sense. It has to be one of the Professor Quartz creations, man! Professor Quartz artistic sense? Professor Quartz artistic sense. It's a tough one. It says it's avant-garde and very electric. In other words, it's weird and all over the place. Come to think of it, the strange looking painting in the art room it was one of Professor Quartz's work, wasn't it? It's actually that photo was originally such a Lady Justice. Lady Justice? Professor Quartz had planned in placing it on the judge's bench in the lecture hall. Ha <laughs> ha! But the day before the mock trial broke point which she was posting it. Should she take it back to the art room and try to fix it somehow? So this is a statue in its proper state? You bet, just look at Wild to the light. Wow, it's so cute! I, I don't get it. Do you have to be an artist to appreciate stuff like this? Athena, the Lady Justice that you put back together on that stage. Oh, right, I didn't realize it before because it was in pieces before it was smashed. Maybe it didn't look like Lady Justice, but more like it does in the photo. But what in the world was it, but what in the world was it doing on the stage? Well, I think that about covers it. Okay, to have a watch the mock trial video with me. What do you say? Sure, sounds good to me. Er, so, how do you want to watch it? Hey, <laughs> all classroom desks in this computer have their own built-in computer, you know? Of course they do. Wow, this is definitely a lot cushier than I thought. I know you guys are in hurry, so I'll just fast forward to the important parts. Start with the professor's pre-trial speech. Good afternoon. I'd like to start by thanking you for coming here today. Oh, that's what the professor means. Oh, is this cam is, is this a camera like this the whole time? Yeah, it's a big position in front of the stage. When I was a student, I too could hardly wait for this day to come. How can some teacher's speeches always make me so sleepy? Ha! This is the end of a speech. Now, let the mock trial begin. Hey, what's the deal here? Why is Junie so large in this shot? Looks to me like she's cut right. Looks to me like she cut right in front of the camera. Ha ha! Junie was also in charge of the audio. Even though she was already playing a part in the mock trial itself, she had to do with keep the script details secret. She was all over the place that day. When she was in the trial, she was in the auto control and dealing with the music. Ooh, so this is what the lecture hall looks like. Let's say there's a judge behind, bench back, judges bench behind by the screen with a window stand up front. What about those balconies with the person names on them? Those are balcony seats. The person names the press court were in charge of scoring the mock trial. Lecture hall diagram added to the court record. Okay, let's fast forward this a bit. Uh, that was me. Could, could you tell? Objection. A frail quarter bear has to stab Professor with an arrow? I don't think so. You read that line in the mock mock trial, Paul, but you made it sound kind of weird. Kelly's been slack. I was the first time reading that script. I think she was going to speak next. I, I didn't do it. I suffered a breakdown. I once lost it. it. It's true I shouted you're a goner, but I didn't mean it. Wow, what an emotional performance. She put her relationship the same. Okay, wait a second. Hold on a second. So, if she said that... It's, so, wait, oh, wait, 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 okay. So, if she said it during the trial, then that explains why why it was her voice on the thing. Wait, wait, could you have to play that scene again? You really think that's... Yes, of course it's necessary, you idiot. You know what she just said? Y yeah, she said it. Then you're awesome. Let's play that last... No, I don't need to hear it a third time. I don't follow what you're so excited about. I think this piece of evidence should, should explain it. Time to show up for a piece of evidence that thinks that links the line to the we, uh, we just heard of the case. Take I'm sure you remember this. It contains a female voice shouting a violent threat. I'll play it for you. The voice of Lord just similar, but I can't believe this is happening. It's just a possibility, but the voice in this tape is really a recording. One made from the mock trial video, then the means Evans was fabricated. They didn't get to do a voice pronounced this time for court today. That's why the gender of the voice became so important. And if the real killer had foreseen, it would, he would try to deflect attention away from himself and making a suspect female. So basically, the only one who's doing the game from doing so is our sole male suspect. Or, you know, the guy who's, whose whole thing is the end justifies the means. Do whatever the hell you want, including fabricating evidence. Wait a second! No! Perhaps the means, Greedo is the end justifies the means. Yes, exactly! Yeah, or, 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 the teacher himself! Also, also a perfectly possible possibility. That was a dumb sentence I just said, but still. Allow me to assist you with that, am I right? Ugh. Of course I wasn't correct. Of course it had to be this guy. Press you to Gavin, at least make some kind of noise so we know you're there. It's coming to go home with Rockstar Engines for now, and timing is everything. Let me copy that tape right now, and I'll get you the results as soon as I can. I trust that would be alright. Very much so, thanks! Okay, at least he only should have for a short amount of time this time. Well, Athena, it's almost sundown. Is it about time we head over to the detention center? I think Junior will agree that this is something to prove her innocence, but... 
Will her heart really be open to accepting it? She had to have known this is what I was find what I would find. And, and that about covers the main gist of our investigation. I see. Very interesting. You've been quite the busy beaver today. Thank you for all your hard work, Athena. Well, my time's about up, and I'll be getting dark soon, so... Junie! You must be tired after being on your feet all day. You should go home and... No, wait! You have to listen to me! I don't... I don't want to hear anymore. I know what you're going to say, Athena. Junie, you promise! Yes, I, I remember what you said. I, I, that was literally 40 minutes ago. I didn't forget already. So please, please listen to what I have to say. Once you've heard me out, I'll let you decide what to do. The voice in this recording has been proven to be yours, Junie. And in the mock trial video, we can hear you reading your line from the script. We're having both of them analyzed now, but from what I can tell, the voices are the same. And the only one who's benefited from faking their voice recording would be Hugh, or the guy in the room. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, you confessed in order to protect me. This may sound strange, but his confession is a ploy to make himself look less suspicious. In other words, we're just pretending to protect you. No, I, I don't know about that. Say you will, Athena, but none of us were hurt to fly, let alone kill someone. He was a gifted student, and he gets outstanding grades and never causes trouble. That, 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 that doesn't... Look, I, I'm pretty sure Hugh O'Connor didn't do it, but that's not exactly a strong reason to defend him. Oh no, not again. Wait, Athena. My braces reacted just now. It did? But why? Junie, can you look me in the eye and repeat what you just said? Oh, that loves to hurt a fly, let alone kill someone. He was a gift, it's Junie gets- Yeah, okay. Okay, both times she reached for a scarf. I'm sure of it, she's lying. Both times she reached for her scarf in that last statement. Are, are you gonna start? Let me guess, you're gonna start messing with your scarf? Aha! I knew it! Gotcha! Do you know where you start coughing when you're under stress? You can't hide it from me no matter how hard you try. When you said it never caused trouble, a cough escaped and made your scarf flutter. That's why you were stressed because you were lying. Junie, you're trying to hide Hugh's connection to the case, aren't you? And I believe that also ties into a secret about yourself. A, a secret? About me? I, I don't understand. I already told Junie, so I may as well tell you. I don't really care about her anymore. What? Why? She was not all sunshiny and rainbows like you think she is. He ended their friendship after he found out about Junie's secret, which means he must have built a trip with Junie, making her... Oh, shit! Oh! I didn't even think about that. Wow! You were going to snitch, weren't you? I didn't even think about that for a second. But that, but that, oh, but that makes so much sense. And while filling that role, you learn something about you you never forgot to forget. I don't know what you're talking about. Junie, please stop hiding things from me. I hate having to force things out of you like this. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Time to review the evidence to see if I can't prove my hypothesis. I must have something to prove Junie is a snitch and who's connected to the. Oh, the planner, right? Right? Because doesn't it say something? Where's the planner? Where's the plan? It's right here. What? I, I, I'm blind, apparently. Uh, meet with you about that report yesterday. The report. The report. That's a very, very odd choice of words. Oh, wait. Look. Ro routine report. That's a very odd choice of words. I think that's it. I think that's it. Right here in Presser Court's planner, it says routine report. I believe this is meant to mean when the snitch reports to Presser Court. I also believe Professor Court planned to meet Hugh in private based on the stitch's info. And from their meeting, Miss Hugh must have put two and two together and figured out your secret. So you see, it only makes sense only if you're the snitch, Junie. <laughs> ah, forgive me, forgive me, Thea. I, I've been lying to you this whole time. Because I suspect you from the start. You did, and this is surprising. I'm so sorry, I've talked about friendship so much, I've been a terrible friend. Do you know, I don't have a special kind of hearing that Athena does, but I only need it to sense the pain you're feeling inside, and its intensity is directly proportional to how you feel about your friend. Am I right? Oh. Please, Junie, tell me why you suspected Hugh. I have a feeling that will be the key to getting to the bottom of this whole case. What exactly was your role as a class snitch? It's going to be told, tell me how I can not unlawfully strive from the path of justice. The dark age of the law, huh? She didn't want any more students to get on a street like that, but a few others have given me shade of you. I thought our ideas were beautiful, though sad and unrealistic. 
She asked you to be her eyes and ears, didn't she? I used to report to her once a month about any manga I've seen or heard about. And that report session is her planner, the one from the October 22nd. Was a part of that? Yes, that's what I reported here to Professor Korn. She snitched on her own friend? I accidentally overheard you talking. What did you hear? He was talking to someone on the phone. I think it was one of his parents. What were they talking about? Something about having paid money for good test scores. And that, it, that explain yep, yep, that, that's, that's, that explains this right here. Q120, right? That would explain the, because this came out of her, yep, mm-hmm, got it. What? That's bribery! He was buying his way to school, and that's the case, and that evidence that always seemed out of place might actually be about his secret. We found this while we were investigating the stage, and he's got Hugh's name on it. I didn't know what the number meant at the time, but now that I'm hearing about bribes, must... Much more, take a look at this mark. The same mark on the pages of Professor Court's planner. Hey, you're right! Wait, you didn't notice that? Wait, why Professor Court have that kind of information in a planner? You don't really think the person who was taking the bribe money was... It's just a possibility at this point, but it may indeed have been Professor Court. What? That is impossible. She'd be the last person to ever suspect of accepting bribes. Like I said, it's just a possibility, but a rather good one. Maybe their private talk had to do with the possibility of a bribery being exposed, and what started as a little argument soon got out of hand. It's not your fault, Junie. Anybody would have expected Hugh if they knew what you knew. No, I don't believe that alone would have driven him to murder. It's another reason why I suspected Hugh. You gotta be kidding me, there's another reason? I saw Hugh run 7 p.m. the day before the mock trial. Oh, so she's finally ready to talk about that. When I... I saw his... his... Athena! Junie, what are you all right? Just try to relax and tell me what happened. I, I never wanted to see what I did, but I'll have to live with it, won't I? In that hallway, Hugh's hands, his hands were dripping with blood. <laughs> okay then. What? But why? What am I going to do? Deep down, I know he can't be the killer. My mind keeps telling me he is, no matter how I try to convince myself, he isn't. Oh, what am I going to do? Hugh, Hugh, he's... I can't take this anymore, Athena. So she hid the fact that she had been Hugh and said she was went home at 6 because she wanted to avoid talking about what she saw. Junie, it must have been terrible holding all that in. But it's going to be okay, I'll get to the bottom of this. And that's what I promise one good friend to another. I'll be defending Juniper tomorrow, if that's okay with you, Professor Means. My main concern is whether you can defeat that prosecutor. I've done it before and I'll do it again. But I won't try to stop you. I'll be watching from the gallery. And shall I look forward to seeing what sort of results your methods can produce. I'm guessing it's gonna produce like you being the killer. That's what I'm guessing. Good luck tomorrow. Now if you would excuse me. Athena, I'm sorry. I really mean it. I wish I trusted you from the start. You have to uncover the truth tomorrow. I know you can do it. Don't worry, well, we already know that the prosecution's key piece of evidence is a fake. And thanks to you, we figured out the motive, too. Let's give this our best shot, Athena. Let's tom let tomorrow be the day Juniper walks free. I wouldn't have it any other way. We should be all ready now. What could possibly go wrong this time? Literally everything. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Still, this is a strange and easy feeling I can't shake. I better be imagining it. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to end this case. Wait, 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 music, music. I'm ready for this case to end. Not because I want it to end, but because I think this is going to come within a very exciting finale or climax. Okay, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned to catch you all tomorrow for some more. Phoenix for Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Goodbye.